Let's now calculate the time for the money to double when an investment of $2,000 is intro, uh, invested at the rate of uh, R equals uh, 7.125% and uh, compounded monthly, that is uh, when N equal to 12. So we'll be tracing this amount formula for compound interest, which says that amount equals uh, P times of 1 plus R by N raised to the power of NT. Uh, A is the final amount after T is. P is the amount uh, invested. R is the rate of interest in decimals. And uh, N is the number of times compounded. Number of times the amount is compounded. And T is the time. So let's substitute the values of uh, amount P, R and uh, N and calculate the T. Since we want to find the time for the money to double, we say that the amount is uh, twice the invested amount that is uh, twice of P and this equals uh, 2 times of uh, 2000. So we say that uh, amount equals 4000. So let's plug in all this information into this uh, formula. So therefore A equals, let me copy the formula here, A equals uh, P times of 1 plus R over N raised to the power of NT. I plug in A equal to 4000. We know that the principal amount is, that is uh, 2000 times of 1 plus R is the rate of interest in decimal. So we use this value that is uh, 0 0.07125 and divided by N equals 12 raised to the power of uh, 12 times of T. So basically we have to determine this uh, value of t uh, from this equation. So let's simplify this. First I will divide uh, both sides by 2000. When I do that uh, I get uh, like this. I can cancel this here. So this becomes uh, 4000 divided by 2000 equals 2. So let's simplify this. This gives 2 equals. Uh, we have to divide this quantity first. That is 0 0.07125 divided by 12. So therefore it will be 1 plus point zero zero five nine three seven five raised to the power of 20. Now we can add this together and uh, we will get uh, one point zero zero five nine three seven five. So let me write down that here. So this becomes uh, one point zero zero five nine three seven five raised to the power of 20. Now since we want to find the time t we can apply natural logarithm both sides and uh, determine the uh, time t. So when we do that, uh, we get a natural logarithm of 2 equals natural logarithm of uh, 1.0059375 raised to the power of 12t. And uh, using the properties of logarithms, we know that uh, we can bring this power in front. So therefore, this becomes natural logarithm of 2 equals uh, 12 times of uh, 12 t times of natural logarithm of 1.0059375. Now we can solve for t. First we divide uh, both sides by this quantity. So therefore I can write down this uh, 12 t equals uh, natural logarithm of 2 divided by natural logarithm of 1.0059375. 375. Now to determine t, we have to divide both sides by 12. So therefore this implies t equals, you can write down this as 1 by 12 times of natural logarithm of 2 over natural logarithm of 1.0059375. So we plug this values into the calculator to determine the value of t. So when we do that, we get the approximate value of t equals 
Magius. So we this is the time uh, required for the money to double. That is uh, nine points on five years.